Hello everyone, welcome to Geek Bar Pro Lecture. I'm Rog Zhang, founder of Geek Bar. The program of Pro Lecture was aiming to share our iPhone maintenance experience and latest discoveries with peers. Last case was the iPhone 8 no charging diagnosis. Unexpectedly, many of my colleagues were very interested in a power meter used in the video. How much is it? Where to buy it? We're often asked. So, this time we decide to share with you the DIY process of T50N double channel power meter to meet your requirements. And we will choose three lucky viewers to give DIY power meter for free. Details at the end of video. Okay, let's roll to the theme. First of all, let's look at the structure of this power meter. It's consisted of one meter, one expansion board, one U1 integrated small board, two inline connectors, three physical buttons, three keystrokes, four screw studs, four thin plastic spacers, four thick plastic spacers, eight screws, two pieces of transparent acrylic sheet, and two sheet metal plates. Okay, after understanding the structure of T50N, we started doing DIY. The first step was to weld U1 to the expansion board. Then, weld the shorter end of two connectors to the fitting position of expansion board. Next, add three physical buttons to the meter. Right here, the first step of welding has finished. Next thing, we began to assemble the attachments, put the bottom metal plate and the acrylic sheet together. Place the bottom four screws with four thin plastic spacers. And put the expansion board on top. Then, install the four screw studs, weld the meter with connector. It's 90% done already. You could turn it on and have a test. When all functions are available, we continue to assemble the remaining attachments. Place three keystrokes on the physical buttons and arrange the thicker plastic spacers. Refill the front metal panel with acrylic. Finally, fasten the last four screws. Alright then, DIY T50N power meter was easy for. Let's briefly introduce the use of T50N. The power supply was inputting by USB-A port. Or it could be directly connected to the output of iPower. Now, we connect the power cord to the first channel of T50N. Then connect it to the phone and press turn on button. So that the current of booting can be displayed on the T50N screen. In either digital or waveform. If you need to compare the working current of two phones, power the second channel of T50N. Then, connect the other phone to the T50N second channel with power cord. Job done! T50N appeals to me like a geeker toy. could be embedded in other expansion boards. If you feel eager to explore more funds by DIY, please subscribe to Geek Bar Media Channel. At most 10 minutes to accurately diagnose the iPhone key problem is Geekbar Pro Lecture's aim and vision. For more practical maintenance cases, please enable the WeChat. Click the plus sign on the top right corner and choose to add WeChat official accounts. Type Geekbar and search subscribe to the Geekbar WeChat official accounts. Today we are prepared to give you 3 T50N raffle. Lottery method is Reply T50N to the Geekbar WeChat official accounts. The letter should be capitalized. Do not be discouraged if you don't win the prize when you reply T50N. We will also share the purchase link to everyone. I wish you all have fun. See you next time. Bye!